por territorio rock sobre una versión de la educativa y que tenemos que un gran abrazo. Hi Territory Rock, I'm Victoria and I'm the lead singer for Victoria K. Nosotros somos Sigma y acá estamos en Territorio Rock. Agradezco mucho por tu interés y a todos los que miran Territorio Rock. Hola, somos The Warning y estamos en Territorio Rock. Territorio Rock. Acá acabamos de conocer hermano, que es Territorio Rock. Territorio Rock. Hi, we're Penny with Red and we're happy to be in Territorio Rock. Well, these oh. questions are from Gustavo Alegre from territoryrock.com from okay. Argentina. Nice to meet you. He doesn't speak. Oh, there he is. Hello. Uh, oh. Yeah, he doesn't speak English, so his two questions are: Is there any chance that Sabaton could make a song about Malvinas' world from an Argentinian point of view? Interesting. Uh, absolutely. I don't know when or how, but I never even thought of it. Why not? I mean, we. It would be a cool thing to cover sort of something we've done done before but from a different point of view. Cool, cool, cool idea. I'll think about it for sure. Ah, great. Bueno, Gustavo dice que es interesante, no sabe cuánto o cómo lo puede hacer, pero nunca lo han pensado, así que suena como una idea súper buena de, de realizar. Así que no estaría bueno hacerlo con la guerra de las Malvinas, según Joaquín. And the second question is According to the band, what's the good and the bad about Sabaton? <laughs> Tricky question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Es, decirle, decirle que, que es muy difícil contestar esa pregunta que nosotros acostumbramos a preguntarle a todas las bandas acá. Es muy difícil. Well, um, Gustavo used to uh, uh, ask this question to a lot of bands. So, and 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 every member of every band, it's like. Oh, that's a tricky question. You're gonna come. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think uh, when I'm thinking of it, is something that is good that we are very proud of, which also leans into the negative, as that we are genuinely good friends. Everybody in the band, we have a crew that we love to death, uh, and we are having a great time on tour. Sometimes people get angry with each other, but that's fine. That's the same thing. In in families, you know, but in general, we are all having a great time. And the problem then becomes that we sometimes maybe overdo it, you know. I remember back in 2014, we did, I think, 170 shows in 12 months. And that, that was really hard. It wasn't boring, but it felt like we did, at least for me personally, When I went on stage, it felt like I didn't care as much as it should, you know. I went on stage, I did it, I had a good time, but then like I caught myself thinking about other things during the show. And that's not why we want to do it. So at the same time as we are liking it and doing it, we are also very ambitious and pushing and pushing. And that could be a, a bad thing as well. Yeah. Thank you, Joaquin. Thank you, Joaquin. Dice, creo que algo de lo que están muy orgullosos es que ellos son muy buenos amigos. También tienen un crew, un equipo que aman, que lo pasan muy bien en las giras y, bueno, aunque se enojen de repente, es como súper normal, toda la gente se enoja, lo siguen pasando bien. El problema, según Joaquín, es que se sobreexigen mucho a veces. Piensa que hace unos años tocaron 170 shows en 12 meses. Una cantidad de shows 
y dice que al mismo tiempo de que ellos sentían ser capaces de poder lograr estos shows um, se estaban sobreexigiendo eh, se sintió como demasiado para él y para la banda así que ese es el problema que se exigen demasiado thank you so much Joaquín thank you gracias Samuel thank you.